Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be going over 15 facts about the rise of Sparta. But before we start make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. And without further ado let's jump right into it. Number 1. Founding of Sparta, circa 10th century BCE Sparta was founded by Dorian Greeks in the Peloponnesian region of Laconia. It developed into a city-state known for its military prowess and strict social system. Number 2. Lycurgus Reforms, 8th century BCE The legendary lawgiver Lycurgus is credited with establishing the Spartan constitution, which included the agoge education system, communal living, and the militarization of Spartan society. Number 3. Dual Kingship, Sparta was unique in having two kings simultaneously from two different royal families, the Agiads and the Europontids. This system balanced power and provided military leadership. Number 4. The Agoge System, Spartan boys entered the Agoge at age 7, a rigorous state-controlled education and training program that emphasized discipline, endurance, and military skills, shaping them into elite warriors. Number 5. Spartan Military Excellence Sparta became renowned for its highly disciplined and effective military forces, particularly its hoplite soldiers who fought in the phalanx formation, making Sparta one of the most feared military powers in ancient Greece. Number 6. Conquest of Messenia 8th century BCE Sparta expanded its territory by conquering Messenia, enslaving its population, the helots, and exploiting their labor to sustain the Spartan economy and support its warrior class. Number 7. The Helot System The Helots were a subjugated population in Laconia and Messenia who worked the land for the Spartans. Their labor allowed Spartan citizens to focus entirely on military training and governance. Number 8. The Peloponnesian League, 6th century BCE Sparta established the Peloponnesian League, an alliance of city-states in the Peloponnese. This league allowed Sparta to exert control over much of southern Greece and challenge rival powers like Athens. Number 9. Victory in the First Mycenaean War, circa 740-720 BCE Sparta's victory in this war solidified their control over Mycenae leading to the enslavement of the Mycenaean people and the expansion of Spartan territory. Number 10. Spartan Society and the Sicitia Spartan men were required to participate in communal meals, Sicitia, which reinforced equality and camaraderie among citizens and maintained the strict social order. Number 11. Women's role in Sparta Spartan women had more rights and autonomy compared to other Greek women. They were responsible for managing estates, received physical training, and were encouraged to produce strong offspring for the state. Number 12. Battle of Thermopylae, 480 BCE Although a defeat, the Spartan stand at Thermopylae against the Persian army became legendary and cemented Sparta's reputation as the epitome of courage and sacrifice. Number 13. Victory in the Peloponnesian War, 431-404 BCE Sparta led the Peloponnesian League to victory over Athens in the Peloponnesian War, establishing Sparta as the dominant power in Greece. Number 14. Oligarchic Government Sparta was ruled by an oligarchy, where power was concentrated in the hands of a few, including the Jerusia, Council of Elders, and the Ephors, who oversaw the kings and enforced laws. Number 15. Cultural isolation, Sparta maintained a policy of cultural isolation, discouraging trade and foreign influence. This helped preserve their unique way of life and military-focused society but also limited their economic growth and cultural development. And that's it for today make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. See you next time.